I'm Brian Bernard. I'm a partner at the law firm of Holland and Hart, and I primarily represent employers in all matters of disputes and in counseling. You know, it's interesting for, for a lawyer, um, we're always dealing with all kinds of different businesses and different people. And, and to me, that's what the Chamber facilitates, is sort of this exchange of ideas, exchange of business topics, and a free flow of information to help us all be better. My experience with the Chamber has been excellent, extremely responsive, very much proactive in everything that they are doing with respect to the legislative session. I was extremely impressed with how much behind the scenes took place. I think the Chamber performs a very important role in collecting business minds and business individuals together to try and benefit the community as a whole and to improve the state. No one in this group set out to do what we did in response to getting a, a reward or recognition. I mean, we got there, we dug in, we rolled up our sleeves and we worked together to try and find a solution. And that was just so rewarding in and of itself. The business that I'm with is undergoing some amazing transformation. I work for EMC Corporation. EMC is being acquired and brought private and then combining with Dell to form the world's largest private information technology company, of which I'm happy to be a part. It really wasn't until this last legislative session that I got really moved by what the chamber was doing and said, I need to be a more active part of the chamber and I need to be working more closely with them. So I view the Salt Lake Chamber's role in our community as being a voice for all businesses both large and small, across a variety of industries. During this last legislative session, when the issue of non-compete legislation came up, uh, that really kind of piqued our curiosity and our interest because this issue's been addressed and tackled in other states, and so I was really curious to know that there was some legislation that was being addressed in our state here. I got concerned because it was moving so quickly without a lot of involvement from industry. And I saw the chamber really stepping up to take an active role and be a voice for the business community to try and help influence that legislation. And so when I saw the chamber stepping up like they did, uh, you know, that just really cemented my uh, support for the positions they were taking and just for the chamber as an organization in general. I've been a business owner uh, up until April of this year. I operate a business called Nelson Laboratories, which is a medical device and pharmaceutical product testing company. We help companies make sure their products are safe, sterile, and functional. Working with this group was really amazing. And I think this is a case where the Salt Lake Chamber deserves a lot of credit as well. They were able to bring individuals from various industries together to meet with legislators to represent all the different areas of business in Utah. But that's pretty special and pretty uncommon, I think. The Chamber does a great job of representing the business voice in Utah. And I think this, this case in point with House Bill 251 is a great example of where they rallied a team and brought business leaders together to help solve a critical business issue. And what an honor, what great people, people of integrity and commitment who sacrifice their own time for the greater good. And that's maybe the thing that I'm most honored by, is being associated with such great people. My name is Randy Shumway. I work for the Cicero Group. Cicero Group's a data-driven strategy consulting firm. Cicero resides at the crossroads of technology, data, and strategy. We help organizations all over the world uh, solve really complex problems, decide what they should be doing moving forward, how to lower their costs, how to better serve their customers, improve their products, all through applying data in order to design evidence-based strategies. The Chamber has a number of roles here in the community. It's a great way to bring business leaders from all over the state together around common interests. Second, it's an incredible advocacy group. And I don't think it just advocates for the benefit of business. The Chamber's pro-business and it's pro-labor. The two aren't contradictory, they're very complementary. As business grows, as the entrepreneurial environment in the state grows, our jobs grow, and it's a reason why we're the absolute best place in which to do business and why we have a 3.9% unemployment rate today. What I enjoyed about the non-compete dialogue that we had was the collaborative nature that, that occurred. We had different viewpoints. 
And yet everybody came to the table in a very respectful manner, wanting to, uh, to hear the perspective of one another, wanting to learn from one another, and, and trying to come to a solution that met the disparate needs of, of, of all the interested stakeholders.